so glad that you dropped in because I was hoping I'd catch up with you to have a chat to you about Grace's participation in the project that we're doing this term in geography. And that's great because that's exactly what I wanted to catch up with you about so that works out really well. Well what I can do today is I can answer any questions and I can give you an overview mm -hmm. so that Grace gets the best support throughout the term with this project and we can look at her learning needs as we go and how she's going with those. Yeah. Okay, firstly, I just wanted to let you know that I just thought, think it sounds like a really fun project. Um, you know, it's the Olympic things and it's, it's really fun how they're, you're going to incorporate learning about countries with actually doing some Olympic bids. And um, it sounds that Grace has told me about her group and that all sounds great. I suppose I'm, I'm a bit nervous about um, how she's going to cope with what her contribution to the group is. And especially, especially at the end, you know, she's not very strong at speaking. And um, how is she going to go with having to do her part with the presentation? Because you know that I'm really keen for her to be involved in all the parts of it. So, you know, not only um, in, in the background room, work and, and the post or whatever they're doing, but also with presentation, but I just don't know how it's going to all work out. So what we'll do first is we'll have a look at the whole project okay. so that you've got an overview of it and then right. later on we'll talk more about Grace's um, particular things that she's going okay, to be that doing would be for really the group. Helpful. Yeah. The, the bid fits in beautifully with our work on cultural diversity okay. in geography as well as bringing in the Olympic Games mm -hmm. and teaching them about what the Olympic Games are. And in all that they're doing is they're trying to present arguments as to why their country is the best country okay. to have an Olympic Games. Yeah. So um, do you think that the group is going to get together and decide what each of the um, members is going to do and so what Grace will contribute to the group? It is important that Grace gets to have a choice in what mm -hmm. we're doing. This is all about student choice right. in this assignment because mm -hmm. it's they're directing their learning, even though they have the constraints of what they need to do in the assignment. Okay. Their choice is really important. Mm. So at the beginning, it's sitting down with the group, talking about how each member is going to contribute, make a contribution mm -hmm. to what to what the group is doing. Yes. And Grace will be inclu is included in those in those discussions mm -hmm. because that that's really important for her. And we will look at the different uh, things that are in there. Yes so that what we choose for grace it's within the capabilities yes but at the same time we're going to be able to push her along so that we put higher expectations on on what she's doing it's great that they're doing lebanon um because i don't know if you know that that our family is really into lebanese food and we have a couple of really um favorite lebanese restaurants and lebanese sweet shops um that we love to go to so grace is very familiar with lebanese food and um, if she can have any contribution to the group project to talk about that. Um, the other thing that I know often works with her is um, uh, something concrete like looking at places or photos um, about a place. That would be very um, something that she could definitely achieve. Um, and maybe that would be a good thing for the group to kind of be giving to her to do in terms of their research and um, presentation for the pack for you know, whatever they need to do. That's great that you get to go to the Lebanese restaurants because I think that is going to make this a little bit more meaningful mm. for Grace. Yes. And when she's working in a group, one of the tasks that she is doing is finding out facts about Lebanon. Oh, so she'll okay. be able to talk about her own personal experiences mm. in terms of, well, this is the food that they eat and yes. this is why I enjoy the food. And it actually extends her a little bit more mm -hmm. rather than just saying well in Lebanon they eat this, this, this yes. and this. So yes. she's going to be able to do that. She's going to be with her speech actually talking about Lebanon and right. part of her speech can be about the food in Lebanon. Okay, that's, that sounds like that, that might work well. Mm. So do you have any concerns about the speech? You know the speech is the thing that probably concerns me the most because um, Grace works really hard on her speech you know, and um, like her speaking and uh, getting up in front of a group, even if it's just her own class. Um, uh, she's a little self-conscious about that and she knows that she's not so clear. So I wanna try and make sure that we can maximize everything we can so that she can 
be as clear as possible and come across, you know, uh, so that people can understand what she wants to contribute, but that she can feel really good about it as well. One of the things that we're focusing on in her learning program mm -hmm. is actually her ability to, to stand up and give a speech. Mm. And it's one of the focuses that we have. Um, here, if you have a look at her learning program, yes. we've talked about the cultural diversity and yes. learning to work in a group, particularly mm -hmm. learning with a laptop yeah. and also learning with other students. But mm. the other part is her being able to, to give a speech. And this is where your support at home is so important. Mm. And there are going to be students within the group who will try to help her and will try to write it for her, mm. but it's not going to be something that Grace is going to, to particularly understand perhaps mm. with the language that is used. And so we're going to need your support in changing that speech so that it is suitable for, for Grace. If you have a look at some of the work that she's already done, talking about Lebanon is the best place to visit, talking about the different places that she's yeah. gone to. Okay. I think an important part of her speech is actually having um, a slideshow or a PowerPoint with pictures yes. to support what she's saying so that mm. if the articulation isn't perfect, mm. there's the pictures yeah. that, that go on. We can have, rather than her trying to work with palm cards and change a, a, a picture on a slideshow, we can get somebody in the group to be doing the changing of the pictures so mm. that her focus is how do I present this speech. Yeah, yeah that sounds like a great plan because um, having a visual that other people can have a context of what she's saying really does help them understand what she's saying. So I think that's a, a, a great um, idea. And having her and I maybe work together even with her speech therapist um, on um, the words that she can say and her um, you know, art articulation of those words and working on that in her speech will do um, uh, lots of practices at home to give her some confidence and, and help her. I think that that will, you know, that, that, that sounds like it's going to work really well. That makes me feel a lot better that, that um, that's something that she's able to achieve and, and hopefully achieve well. That would be great if she's practicing at home mm -hmm. and getting support from the family, mm -hmm. as well as the support that she's getting within her group mm -hmm. and and me giving her support. Um, it's going to help her with the rubric that she has. Okay. So every group, every student has a rubric that they're following, and Grace's is no different mm -hmm. to what the rest of the class is doing. And part That's of great. part of the assessment that we're looking at is the speech. So we'll okay. be looking at the rubric goes from a basic understanding to, to outstanding. So by practicing those things with her, mm -hmm. by having a PowerPoint to support what she's doing, yes. plus the support that she's getting from within her group, because it is group work, yes. and that's an important part of the whole assignment, that's going to push her along. And I, I think you need to look at the rubric and see, well, how far can Yes. We get Grace to go, yes. that she'll be comfortable with it and not become anxious with with being pushed and not feeling comfortable and happy with what she's doing. Yeah, it'd be great to have a look at the rubric and um, you know I'm so um, so pleased to hear that you've got high expectations for her. You know that I hold high expectations for her and it's so glad, it's so good that we can work together to actually push her along. I don't think she'll get too anxious about it. Um, she might get a bit stubborn, but I don't think she'd get too anxious. Um, and it'd be great, you know, if, if she was able to actually see that she, she has achieved more than maybe she even thought that she could, as well as her group. So that, that's great. I think it's really important that we have the high expectations we do for Grace. Mm. You have them, mm. I have them. Mm. And I think with the rest of the class and her group specifically, seeing the high expectations that I have for Grace and that I'm not just putting her in a box mm. and this is where Grace is, that I'm actually see that she has learning goals and it's important that I set those high expectations, I think it's going to benefit Grace so much. Thank you. Yeah, I, I think so too. I, I'm feeling a lot um, better overall about um, the project. Is there anything else that you think that um, would be good for me to know about? 
I'm glad you asked that because I wanted to talk about the support teacher who's in the classroom. Okay. Just so you know how she's going to support Grace. Good. Um, within the group. Mm -hmm. She'll help her with researching information. She'll help her finding pictures for the mm -hmm. group. But she's not only just going to work with Grace, she'll work with the other students in the group as well as all the other groups that are in the classroom. So mm -hmm. the, for her focus won't be just on Grace, but she'll be there when Grace needs that extra bit of support. Yeah. Yeah, but thanks for letting me know about that. It's great that there's a su support um, teacher that can come in and, and help you. I'm sure that's a, a good help for, the, for you with the whole class. So I'm sure that, that um, having her um, help Grace to actually stay on task is a, is a really beneficial thing to her, to Grace to actually get the, the work done and her contribution done. And it's great that she's able to also help with the rest of the class and not just help Grace. You know, it's good for Grace's independence that she's learning to actually work and do her own work. I'm really pleased that you're happy with the way I'm using the support teacher mm -hmm. and it's interesting that you mentioned the word independence because that is another one of the focuses that we have yes. within, her, within her learning program. Mm -hmm. Just to remind you, anything that about the assignment is on Google Classroom as well as the mm -hmm. rubric so you can keep referring to that. That's great. Um, thank you so much for the support that you give Grace at home because it just makes such a big difference to Grace's learning and the goals that we set for her. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to get in contact with me. You can either do drop in or you can send me an email. I'm more than happy to help you then. Thanks so much for your time. I really appreciate that I can um, drop in and ask you these questions because they're really important to me and it helps me know where you're coming from and also um, uh, you know how I can best support you to help Grace learn the best in the classroom. It's been great seeing you today and being able to talk to you about, about the assignment. Thank you very much. Yeah, okay. Thanks Have so much. Have a great rest of the day. Thanks, Alison.